So let's start with the classification. So high diversity of classification algorithms split into two main types. So the unsupervised one and the supervised one. So unsupervised means that you do not have any a priori information about the spectral signatures of your classes. And so the algorithm will group the pixels together in clusters based on similarities and you will have to label the clusters afterwards. And then you have the supervised algorithm where you use the training data set to uh, train, uh, calibrate your algorithm a priori, and then you apply this algorithm to all the pixels of your images. For the supervised algorithm, uh, more and more, there are some preparatory steps on the training data set which are cleaned, and there can be some iterations between the cleaning of this data set, you run the algorithm, you look at the accuracy, and you improve the, data, the training data set, and you go on like this until the output meets uh, your requirements. So, I will present you two uh, unsupervised algorithms. The first one is the k-means. So, the k-means is an algorithm where you need to, de to decide at the beginning how many classes you expect. And uh, you arbitrarily, arbitrarily locate some seats uh, at the beginning. And then you assign each pixel of the image to the seed which is the most similar. So, you compute the mean in the spectral dimension, temporal dimension, and then you have the clusters. The mean of the clusters becomes the new seed, and then you re you, 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 the process uh, is repeated. You reassign all the pixels to the new seed until in, you repeat until, in fact, some convergence is met, and so your uh, clusters are rather homogeneous. Another one is the ISO data, so iterative self organizing data analysis, which is very similar than the k means. Except, that the fact, uh, except the fact that the number of clusters can vary during the algorithm. So you start with uh, by default uh, numbers, but during the process, uh, the distance between the clusters are measured. If two clusters are too close, then they are merged. And the standard deviation of each cluster is also uh, looked at. And if this standard deviation is too high, the cluster is split. And so at the end, uh, this is the algorithm that will decide the number of clusters. But in all cases, you need to label the clusters. So this is really the easy, uh, easy thing. Uh, you have different clusters, and you need to define which cluster corresponds to each classes. But in, in, in the reality, this is often much more complex. You need to work in many dim dimensions to be able to, to label correctly the, the clusters.